What's up, everybody? How's it going? Wait, that's definitely not my introduction. What's up, everybody? How's it going? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? How's it going? So, do you also want to land your dream girl? <clears throat> I meant dream job. I use AlgoExpert.io to prepare for my coding interviews. The number is five five. Stonks. So in this video, there's going to be a clash of titans. I'm going to be comparing lead code versus algo expert head to head to help you make the best decision. I'll be comparing algo expert versus lead code premium. This video is definitely not sponsored. So this is all from my own personal experiences. So I'll be going over four major points in this video. The first one is going to be the question content. And I'll be comparing the questions that are available on lead code versus algoexpert.io. The second part that I'm going to be comparing is going to be the coding interface. The third part is going to be comparing the data structures and algorithms them courses that both of these platforms possess and the fourth part is going to be all about pricing and budgeting between both of these platforms i've got one nine i've got seven nine i've got sixteen ninety nine Ch -ch -ch cheap so let's go over the first part which is going to be comparing the question content so if we're talking about algo expert we can see over here that we have 160 coding interviews questions currently that you can practice from now the algo expert team is always adding more questions so by the time that you might be seeing this video there might be more questions available to practice from so as you guys can see over here here, I attempted 107 questions out of the 160 and that was enough for me to be able to crack my interviews. I think that one of the key features about Algo Expert is how gamified it is. This progress bar really provides you with a good motivation to keep doing questions. As you can see that you're making progress. I think that 160 questions is a much more reasonable and justified goal that you can work towards in a shorter period of time. It keeps you motivated and it provides you with a clear path that you can follow to be able to crack the interview. Whereas for lead code, we can see over here that we have a total of 2183 questions that you can attempt from now there's definitely more questions that you can attempt from the premium version of lead code but there's definitely not a clear defined goal that you can work towards sometimes there's a lot of confusion on what questions to attempt so i think definitely in this area algo expert works better because all of the questions are hand-picked curated questions that are really helpful for you to be able to crack your interview another thing that i noticed about lead code is that within the lead code community there's this toxic sense of doing a lot of questions lead coding no no time for showers, no time for breakfast. So, so you'll see a lot of posts where people are talking about doing 1,500, 1,600, maybe 1,700 questions before they landed their dream job. Now this might have worked for them, but this really sets an unreasonable goal for all the new people who are getting started. It demotivates them. Whereas in Algo Expert, you have a clear goal of doing 160 questions. It keeps you motivated and helps you prepare for the job interview in a better way. Now let's talk about the solution section in both of these platforms. So in lead code, we can see that the solution section has a video solution now not all of the problems have a video solution some of them have it some of them don't have it this video solution is of decent quality but the quality can differ question to question because all of the solutions are crowdsourced we also have a solution article over here that goes over various approaches to approach the problem and to solve the problem the solution is provided in two languages which is only java and python whereas if we're comparing the same thing on algo expert we have the solutions there are multiple types of solutions that are available but i really good thing that I like about it is that all of the solutions can be changed into the various languages that you can code in. Now lead code on the other hand has an advantage of being very very community driven. We can see that a lot of the solutions are posted into the discussion session. Now this can allow you to really go over all of the solutions that people have posted to learn their insights and the approaches that they take and this is something which is not available in Algo Expert because in Algo Expert you only have the solutions that are posted by the authors. A feature that I really like about algo expert was their video explanations as you guys can see over here we have the video explanation now this is provided for all of the questions so you are guaranteed that there will be a video explanation for each of the questions that is available on the platform all of the video explanations were really good they taught some insights on how to approach the problem how to think about problems in general now personally i really like clement's way of teaching i'm a visual learner so i thought that this feature was really beneficial for me one drawback that it had was that all of the solutions in the video explanation are coded in python Another point that you might want to consider is that in Algo Expert, we have the questions divided into easy, medium, hard, and very hard. And you can group by difficulty, you can group by category, or you can group them randomly. Whereas in Lead Code, you have the ability to filter the questions by their frequency, by their difficulty, or by their acceptance rate. You also have the good feature of filtering questions according to the companies that ask them. And I thought that this was really a useful feature, especially if you're preparing for a specific interview at a specific company. Now, this is something which is not currently available at algo expert you cannot filter by frequency you cannot filter by company 
One feature that I think makes Algo Expert really stand out is the hints feature. And as we can see over here, we have the question and we have various hints for it. And this really imitates a real life coding interview experience because during the interview, you'll be trying to solve the problem with your interviewer. And if you're getting stuck, then they would provide you with a hint to unblock you. So while you're solving a problem on Algo Expert, if you're getting blocked, you can try using these hints to unblock yourself. Whereas in lead code, you would have to go to the solution or go through the discussion section and it won't really allow you to brainstorm the question by yourself and come to the solution using your own approach. So just to show you guys that I still got it, I'll be trying to solve this problem on Algo Expert. So let's check out the problem. Oh, it's the twosome problem. Definitely I haven't seen it before. So I'm going to code it in JavaScript. Now let's talk about the second part, which is the coding interface. So the first and most important point that we can see over here on the screen is that lead code doesn't have a dark option theme. Dark theme elite users, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and show me some support. Whereas if we're talking about Algo Expert, we can see over here that Algo Expert provides you with the light theme Nani? as well as the dark theme. Another feature that I really liked about Algo Expert, which I think is missing in lead code, is the stopwatch. And the stopwatch really allowed you to imitate a real life interview experience because in real life, your interview would either be 45 minutes or maybe like an hour. So that really allows you to solve the problem in that time bound to keep yourselves in check and to not waste a lot of time on a single problem. Another thing that I really like about Algo Expert is the ability to save multiple solutions. So as you guys can see over here, there's the option to have solutions two and solution three now this is really useful especially if you're doing dp problems because for dp you would either do it top to bottom or bottom to top so it really allowed you to save multiple solutions and to have various approaches for the same problem now another thing that could be argued is that lead code provides you with an auto complete feature whereas if you go to algo expert you will see that if i try to do something to auto complete it won't show any options and it won't let you auto complete now in my personal opinion i feel that not having the auto complete is much better because in a real interview you would have to code it either in a google document or you would have to code it on coderpad which also doesn't provide you the option to autocomplete so i think that building that muscle memory by writing the functions yourself really helps you to prepare more for the interview one thing that i really like about lead code is that when you're done with your solution and you submit it you can see your solution stacked up in terms of optimality against all of the users who have submitted the solution for this problem whereas if we compare this to algo expert in algo expert we don't really have the option to compare our code to others people code in terms of optimality now let's talk about the third part which is the data structure crash course in both of these platforms now if we're looking at the data structure crash course for algo expert we can see that there are a lot of videos and there are in-depth detailed videos that go over each of the topics such as big o notation what data structures really are and each of the data structure that is available for you in the coding interview but then again you can argue that if you're buying this platform right you will have some idea and basic knowledge of data structures so i don't personally think that this is really a useful section because this is mostly for beginners and i don't think that anyone who buys the platform will be a complete beginner whereas if we compare the same thing in lead code we can see that the data structures for example i've opened the graph section over here there's a brief introduction and overview in textual form so that this is really meant for people who have an idea of data structures and who really want to revise or brush up their knowledge and there are also specific topics that you can quickly search and I think that this is a better option because if you're trying to revise or brush up on a topic you can quickly find it whereas in the video format it might be a bit hard to do that also I'll briefly mention another point which is common in both of these platforms that both lead code and algo expert have the option for online assessments so you can sit down and take a random interview question online and solve it also you have the ability to schedule mock interviews with other users as well so let's talk about the fourth 
fifth and the final part which is going to be pricing now for algo expert you can see over here that there are a bunch of options that you can choose from there are various bundles but if you're solely talking about the algo expert platform that will cost you about 99 dollars and you can also use a promo code such as save 10 to get it for 89 dollars at best but the thing is that this is only an yearly access so after each year you would have to renew it one other thing that i would like to point out about algo expert that it does not have a monthly option and this is something which i don't personally like because most of the recruiting season doesn't really last for an year it's usually one to four months long so i think that if the algo expert team is watching this you might want to consider adding a monthly option because i think that that might draw more users to the platform so if we're going to talk about the costing and budgeting of lead code premium we can see over here that it costs about 35 dollars a month and 159 dollars for an year so i like the fact that they have a monthly option and i think that this is a big pro because in comparison to algo expert who don't have a monthly option it really works out better i think that if we're going to talk about the pricing it's definitely not super expensive but it's definitely not super cheap as well one really good option that worked for me and especially if you're a student you might want to check this out is that i got my university to fund both of these platforms most universities have career centers and each career center has a program in which they fund their students to buy courses so you might want to look out in your university whether they do this or not so in conclusion i had access to both of these platforms due to my university's funding so i kind of used the interleaving between both of these platforms to prepare for my coding interview and that's personally how i think i also got my job offer at google is that for the coding questions i really used algo expert because it kept me motivated it was a realistic goal that i had to achieve of doing 160 questions and for doing research or for preparing like company specific questions i really look forward to lead code also the lead code discussion section is a great resource if you want to research the interview and if you want to learn what kinds of rounds have appeared for the position that you're interviewing for personally i really liked algo expert and i think that it really brushed up my knowledge of data structures and how to approach the problem because i really felt that clement's way of teaching is really nice and it helped me to learn in a more visual manner he also taught some of the ways that you might want to think about in an interview so i hope that this video provided a good outline for the comparison between lead code and algo expert i really really hope that this helps you make your best decision if you enjoyed watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel comment down below of whether you agreed with some of my points or disagreed with some of my points or some of the pros and cons that you found yourself from your experience with maybe lead code or algo expert and as always see you guys in the next video